In the case of Dasuke, you see, in every government will always tread this very you know thin line between personal liberty and national security. And I think you must give government, you know, the credit to determine what is national security. And in the case of, you know, Dasu Sambu Dasuke, the issue is a grave one. If a person is in possession of $1.2 billion. Allegedly. Thank you. Which he has, and there are records, as far as we record, there are records that he moved in one day $1.2 billion in two transactions. We know the banks he moved them to. And he will refuse to tell us what we've done with that money. I don't think it would be prudent to jeopardize the national security of a whole nation because of the individual freedom of one person. Because with $1.2 billion, you can destabilize a whole country. You see, all those who have been criticizing you know, us about you know, rule of law or the other, I just wish that they would have the opportunity to be in government just for a, few, you know, for a short time. And we will see how difficult it is to balance you know, personal freedom with national security.